So most of you know, I have switched over from Cinema 4D to Unreal Engine, and I just wanted to talk about how that transition has gone and kind of how my first like month and a half or so have been inside of Unreal Engine. And honestly, uh, I kind of compiled a 13 minute clip of all these like different uh, environment shots that I've created because I just love world building and there's more that I've done and the fact that there's 13 minutes plus even more stuff that I've done um, just available already uh is wild like the the speed at which like the the quality of daily renders type things that you can do like a lot of these are daily renders like this um if we just look at this like this foggy forest oh i love it so much i could look at it all day and i just want to be like the bob ross of sci-fi stuff like i want to add in the sci-fi elements or medieval elements fantasy elements whatever and i just want to start honing these skills in and start diving in so basically what i've been doing this past month or so is just doing just going out there and just trying to create something as best i can either using pcg or painting things on and then really diving into the weather and lighting and things like that as well this forest is the new nanite foliage which is amazing um, and then there's like stuff with kit bash and things like that. And so it's been a lot of exterior shots and I want to start doing more interior things and focusing in on that as well to challenge myself to do that. But, um, I've also done MoGraph stuff on top of that. I have tutorials on that. I've done characters, metahuman editing and stuff has been amazing and metahumans wild. Okay. There we go. What if we, oh, wait a minute now. Now we're talking. What are we doing? This is why why can't you make this? Too much. It's like um weird science. You ever seen that? Oh. This is so bizarre. Oh. Okay. Look at this though. And um it's just like the, the possibilities are huge. I almost have like decision um paralysis uh from this because there's so much that you can do uh like basically when you're doing like c4d stuff i always wanted to do like big scenes but really when you're doing c4d like the majority of stuff you're gonna create happens within like a three by three foot box like you know like a meter by a meter and everything happens inside of there it's like small detailed things uh for the most part you can do bigger scenes but you can't do scenes like this like i've done forest scenes and stuff but i didn't render out 2,000 or 3,000 frames of it in two minutes uh, with fog and everything. Um, and that's what blows my mind, the speed of it. And I've tested out Lumen versus Path Tracer. Um, and basically, from you know, Lumen is insane. As long as you're not doing like very um, translucent, um, focusing on a lot of glass or subsurface scattering stuff, you can pretty much use Lumen for everything, and it's real-time crazy fast. Um, Path Tracer is better for that type of thing, but honestly, when it comes to like the global illumination and things like that, and the light bounces, you can make Lumen look just as good as Path Tracer 99% of the time, uh, and it's way faster. But there's nothing wrong with Path Tracer. It definitely works well. It's almost identical to Octane, um, because you know they're both Path Tracer renders. Uh, but this one's free. Um, but it's cool because I, I just love creating all this stuff and, and the assets and things that are available and the fact that they give away like three free things a week in fab and then there's a lot of cool stuff on fab and everything's just built i'm just really enjoying it and, and i question myself you know I, I haven't quite figured out how to like what exactly you know when c40 started i was just starting just doing things for fun and then you know six years later i'm putting together um master classes and courses and things and i feel like i should be at that point already with unreal engine but that's crazy to think that um you know i'm not good enough at it yet but i will say learning it the learning curve if you know other dccs it is it's easy like the materials all work exactly the same everything just looks slightly different but it all works the same and then understanding the light bounces and stuff is is the same it just has different words and things and honestly it's it's phenomenal and um, there's a lot of cool plugins and things and, and everything's easier. It's easier to pull the trigger on 
kits and things like cargo and the big, medium, small stuff because I'm not paying, you know, a thousand plus dollars a year for the software. So that's like a thousand dollars. I have a budget for add-ons, which I don't even know if I could spend Well, I could spend a thousand dollars, but I'm not going to spend a thousand dollars on add-ons a year probably. So I'm just saving money that way. But I really want to just, you know, ask you guys what you want to see from Unreal Engine 5. Is it just like breakdowns of scenes? Is it like how to do this? And I'll do a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm still in the the figuring it out phase. And um, but I've I've figured out a lot of stuff. And so I just wanted to share just some environmental shots that I put together and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's been really fun. And I want to know what you guys think about about it and um, what you guys want to see. So, yeah. Just a little update.